Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video and my first tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little lace butterflies. It's a very quick and easy little project. For it you're going to need a piece of scalloped lace. I got this one from Luscious Laces. I'll leave a link to their Facebook page below. You'll also need a flower stamen for the antenna, needle and thread. I've got a button as an embellishment for the center. You could use whatever you like or whatever you've got in the middle. And you'll also need some craft glue. This is the glue that I prefer to use. I'm not real keen on hot glue. I find that I burn myself far too much. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and you will also need some scissors. First of all, I'm going to take my lace and I'm going to just trim off these edges over this side. Just as close to the edge as you can. Just getting rid of the uneven edge. Uh, then we take our needle and thread. Now, I've used like a flesh tone. You could use white, you could use pink, you could, whatever matches the lace you're using. You really don't see it in the end, so I wouldn't use black or any dark colour, but this seems to blend in quite nicely. Start off by coming in to just below where the... The embroidery of the actual lace is and I'm going to come in probably be half a centimeter just so that my thread actually hooks into the material and doesn't go straight through I'm just gonna sew over a, a couple of times just I think this is called I think this is called a locking stitch I'm not sure I'm not technical in anything I do I don't claim to be technical I um just do whatever works okay now we're gonna run a running stitch you don't want them too far apart but you also are a little bit free in how big you do them it depends on how gathered you want your wings so as you can see, just running a running stitch along. Try to keep them a little bit even. I'm not going to say keep them perfectly even because I know mine aren't. And I just get down to here, pull my thread through. So you go halfway. As you can see there, we can gather it up. Now, I found when I've made the first one that if I cut straight through here, as you, hopefully you can see this, straight through the centre of the flower and just through to the above where I've been stitching. Tucking that be in, fold it back through. If you can, pick up your needle. And then as you sew up, you want to make sure that this is all tucked to the back when you finally do the last gather. So we're just going to keep running the running stitch up, back up now the other side. Trying to make sure my hands aren't getting in the way. I will insist on crafting on this little table. When I say a little table, it is a little table. It is one of those TV dinner tables that you had, like your little wooden table that you put your dinner plate on in front of the TV. Because I enjoy crafting in my lounge room because I watch TV as I craft. I do have a craft room and a big desk which eventually I might have to use. 
but it's in a separate room and I don't like being in there on my own with no noise. A bit tangled with the thread there. Oops, what have I done? Okay, we need to push that back through. Yes. Push this one back through. So it's on the right side. Oh, now I've got my thread all caught. Yeah. So now that's the right side. Turning it over so that all of this comes through to the wrong side. We just pull and gather. We want it. You want to make sure that all you gather it. Your gathering is at the back. If it pokes through to the front, just encourage it backwards with your needle because that's what helps the wings to stand upright. Sorry if all you're seeing is my hands. I'm just trying to get this to cooperate. There we go. And now I'm just going to fold that through again and do one tacking stitch to, look, just to join it back up to the other side. Go through the front to the back and pull. Now, it's not behaving very nicely. Of course not, because I'm videoing it. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. There's the wings of our butterfly. Next thing we need to do is get our stamen and fold it in half. Now I did notice, I did pick up a couple of other stamens from the packet and they were very bendy. You sort of need to make sure you've got ones that will stand up on their own. Then once you get do that, you put the V into the top of where your thread's coming out. Pull your thread up through the V take your thread back through all your gathering see how it's hooked onto the thread make sure you keep it hooked on and pull it tight just put in the center back where it should go, making sure the middle of the V is got the stitch in it. Pulling it tight and just keep going over a couple of times just to ensure that it's not going to go anywhere. You can just you can have the top wings. The wings can just be shaped however you want to shape them. I like to have one in, one, one one way, one the other, just to make it look more natural, I guess you'd say. Right, two more times. One. Over through. Two. And I'm going to knot my thread through this one. Like so, turn it over, and you'll see you've got like this bunchy, bunched up stuff at the back. Now I just run my needle just a couple of times through the bunch. Every second one or so, just giving it a knot. Oh, we're hooked on the, we're hooked on our pretty antennas. So 
Sorry about that. One more. Try not to let my hands get in the way. It's very hard when you've got big hands and you're working with something little. Now, just shaping them again, making sure I like what I see. Make sure you like what you see. I think that looks quite nice. So one more with a knot and we're going to cut our thread off. Snip. Notice there's a few little threads of the laces hanging out there. Just give them a snip. That to the side. And then all we do is take our glue. Put a Oh, I actually did it up this time. Not very good for that. A dot of glue up the top near the antenna. I think that's a bit much glue, but it'll be right. And we just place the button or whatever embellishment you feel like. Wiping away the excess glue. That's a little bit high for where I would like it. So I'm just going to move it down. It's probably because I've got so much glue. Okay, we pull the antennas back to the front. Oh, yes, I put far too much glue on for the for, for the button. Now it's sliding every which way. There you go. There's our little lace butterfly. I would say I haven't tried it with another lace, but I would say that any scallop lace you could probably try. But I just think they look so cute with this lace. This lace just says, said to me, make a butterfly. So I did. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Yes, I will be doing some more in the next week or so. I don't know what. I do all sorts of crafts. I'm just going to take you on the journey with me for whatever I'm doing at the time. Okay, again, thank you for watching. Bye for now.